Right, let's try the AP on the Vanguard here. Let's see what we can get. What do we get? What do we get? Oof, double Citadel. Hello, hello guys, Kaza here, back with another video. In today's video, we'll be taking out the latest uh, campaign reward ship, the Kronstadt. And um, we're on the map Sleeping Giant, and it's a domination game mode. I'm in a division with the Musashi, and we've got the spawn just north of the Charlie Cap. Alright, let's quickly take a look at what we're up against here in this match. Paolo, Emilio, Bayard, Kronstadt, Amagi, Vanguard, Iowa, Musashi, Prince Ruprecht, and of course, carrier match, Shikaku. So there's a Bayard, Kronstadt, and Shikaku division, and then uh, we've got the Lexington for our uh, our carrier. Alright, so yeah, we uh, we spawn here on the uh, the northern side of Charlie, I believe. And um, yeah, before we go any further, let's quickly review the commander modules on the ship. I'm running even BD Lightful, inspired by Norman Scott and uh, Azalein Shanos, just to keep the guns as accurate as possible. And uh, for modules, I'm running Aiming Systems Mod 1. Propulsion, Concealment, and Main Battery Mod 3 to get the reloaders down as, as, as short as possible. Alright, so yeah, here we off, uh, we're off and uh, we're heading to the uh, left here. Hopefully our carrier will spot for us. We've got a Cleveland over here, a friendly Cleveland that will be helping us out here. And um, now we just wait for our carrier to spot. Luckily our carrier is playing the game, which is great. Sometimes you get AFK carriers, which is the worst. But we're also spotted by a carrier, and there's a Prince Ruprecht, so we've we got to be pretty careful. Slowing down to full stop, take aim at him, luckily our shells clear the island. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can get on the Prince Ruprecht here. As our shells start to dip, yeah, 7.5k for our first salvo, not bad. Also, i got to mention guys, that this is my very, very first match in the Kronstadt. Um, I just got the ship last night, and uh, I made a... Um, Made a few, uh, full a few million credits first, so I can afford the modules, and I put the modules on the ship, and this is my first match in the, uh, in the Kronstadt. So I hope this is like a first impression, sort of, uh, impression that I can give you guys for in this match, just to show you what this Kronstadt is, and, uh, whether it's a battleship or a cruiser, because, uh, you might, you might not be 100% clear on what it is, because, um, it's, it doesn't have the most accurate guns, but it's very, very tanky, and, um, yeah, it's uh, very, it plays like a cruiser, but it also plays like a battleship. So it's kind of confusing if this ship is really a cruiser or a battleship. But uh, hopefully at the end of the match, we'll have a clearer picture of what the ship is capable of. All right, so there we get six deflections. He was angling in, so we aimed too low and we hit his armor belt and we deflected. So now we aim a little bit up and to do his superstructure, we switch to HE because we know he's angled. So we won't get much with the AP there. And uh, yeah, we knock out a turret again, which is really nice. So uh, yeah, Prince Ruprecht um, goes down to the Musashi, my division mate, very, very nice. So we don't have to worry about him anymore. All right, so we see in Iowa, that'll be our next target. And um, yeah, the carrier tried to drop us once. We shot down the planes. Luckily, we were reversing. So uh, the carrier missed us with its torpedoes. It's Shikaku, so now we got the opportunity to start uh, firing at the uh, Iowa here. All right. Let's see what we can get with our HE shovel. Maybe we can set a fire or two, that'd be pretty nice. Try and get the Iowa to use up its damage con and we can start getting perma fires on it and burn it down. Very, very nice. Because if he stays uh, angled like that, we won't be able to do much to him. And uh, yeah, we just stick with the HE because uh, he's still remaining angled. Now he accelerates. He's probably going broadside. Yeah, he's turning broadside to get out of here. I don't blame him though. I would probably do the same. All right. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get opportunity to switch to AP and here, uh, pepper that Iowa with the broadside. Oh, we've got a friendly Kudasov in the smoke there. And uh, now we don't have any intelligence data because our carrier is currently uh, sending out a squadron. So yeah, here I decide to uh, push out wide and uh, push forward to go join this Kudasov and hopefully push Delta. So we can get a nice push going here from the Charlie Cap all the way down to Delta so we can uh, put some pressure on the enemy team. Alright, yeah, so our damage total is all the way up to 43,000. Not uh, not the greatest, but also not very bad. I'm kind of impressed with the, the shell grouping from the uh, Kronstadt so far. I can promise you this won't be uh, the case in every match. Some matches will be better than others. But uh, from what I've seen from the C other CCs that make videos on the Kronstadt and uh, other reviews I've seen on online, um, the Kronstadt doesn't seem to be very accurate, but I'm running a full accuracy build and I'd say it's pretty de decent. 
it's not fantastic but it's really not bad either so uh yeah it's uh it's middle of the pack i would i would say uh i know there's uh uh other ships like the azuma that's also a battle cruiser technically or, or a super heavy cruiser if you want to put it technically um that also has uh 300 uh, 310 millimeter guns but also has big guns at the t uh, tier 7 this is tier 8 though so um we should be expecting a little bit more out of our cruisers uh and yeah let's quickly take a look at that salvo from from the Kronstadt onto the Iowa what do we get from that one ah uh, just uh one pen and one shatter we didn't get the best dispersion there but as you guys will see you get some flyer salvos that are stunning through the air it's nice shell grouping nice dispersion and then other times you get salvos that won't even hit the ship that you're aiming at not even close so yeah the Kronstadt um from what I understand it features battleship dispersion so uh, you've got uh, basically battleship type of accuracy for a base to start off with. And then of course I'm running a double accuracy with Cunningham, uh, sorry, uh, Norman Scott to decrease, um, increase shell grouping. And then uh, Azalane uh, Shanos to decrease the dispersion. Just to try and make the, the dispersion ellipse a little smaller and get the shell grouping a little tighter. So we can have those very nice salvos that we're looking for. All right. Up next we'll uh, set a fire on the Iowa, I believe. No. I believe that was someone else that we set a fire on. Uh, yeah, this Iowa does not seem long for this world, and uh, he will be taken care of pretty soon here. All right, there goes the Iowa. Very, very nice. Thank you, Kutuzov. And uh, here's our Lo Yang popping through the middle after capping Bravo. Very, very nice. So uh, now we can get some perma spotting on these battleships with our Lo Yang that's going to push out and uh, be our eyes on this flank. All right, so let's just be careful here. Ooh, we see a Masashi. Got to be careful. He can absolutely wreck us. Well, important to note that this Kronstadt does not uh, feature 32 millimeter bow plating, so you can be overmatched by regular 406 millimeter guns. I believe the the bow armor on the Kronstadt is 27 millimeter, but if I'm wrong, just correct me, guys. Um, but I believe you can definitely get overmatched by 406s and above. Um, so yeah, that's uh, something you got to be careful of. You don't want to be 100% broadside. You want to use your nice armor plating, uh, your thick uh, thick armor plating on the side of the ship for uh, angling. So you want to be presenting a decent angle, but not too rough. Uh, so you so you uh, concede citadels and everything when the enemy shoots at you. But like when the Masashi shoots you, like he's going to overmatch you regardless of how you're angled, you know? So... Um, it doesn't really matter that much. Here I should have switched to the AP a long time ago, guys, just so I can point out my own mistakes. Um, you guys see the broadside uh, Musashi there? We could have shot him, but uh, we saw this Bayard that's uh, pressuring our battleship north of Alpha, so we want to take aim at him. And uh, unfortunately, we did have HE loaded and not AP, otherwise that could have been a very juicy salvo. But he did speed up pretty nicely, so uh, we kind of missed him there. But that's okay. And uh, here comes a salvo from the uh, Musashi, I believe. Let's see, can we dodge it? Yes, we can dodge the salvo from the Musashi, very nice. Yeah, we take aim at the, the Bayard there. Well, we get four overpens in one pen, not too bad, not too bad. And here's our very, uh, very nice um, next target that's uh, popped around the corner here. Vanguard, we aim into the upper part of the Vanguard's... Uh, Superstructure because we see he's angled slightly towards us, but then boom, double citadel and 27k gone off the Vanguard. And uh, as a result, uh, we were broadside to the Musashi and we lost nearly two thirds of our hit points. That's the Musashi for you guys. Uh, don't uh, underestimate the power of a Musashi or a Yamato. And uh, in the Kronstadt, especially, you don't want to be giving any sort of uh, any sort of broadside angle. You will get severely punished, as you guys just seen there. My mistake was punished, and uh, yeah, now I need to pop a heal here. And that takes us more or less up to half health, close to half health. So um, we at least now have a fighting chance again to go push out. But yeah, we can see this Musashi is looking at us. We just wait for the all clear to see that our shells will uh, clear the island. And then we take aim at the superstructure or the upper part of the Musashi. Yeah, we only get one pen there, which is unfortunate. Uh, we were kind of hoping to aim for his cheek there. You know, the cheek plating on the Musashi and the Yamato. But uh, he is uh, pretty well angled, so it will be difficult to punch through that uh, that armor at that range. Because I'm not a battleship, so I don't have battleship levels of penetration. So yeah, that's uh, a bit of a problem. And now he's angling in perfectly. We can't hit the Bayard. 
So uh, yes, now we're in uh, trouble here. You might as well just yes yeah, switch to the HE. Yes, okay, we did, and try and burn down the Musashi as there's nothing else that we can really do else here. So um, now we can start pushing. So we do have a three ship lead currently. We've got three caps versus the enemy zero. So we're firmly in the lead here, 850 points. We're 150 away from uh, getting a victory. So uh, yeah, if we don't lose a lot of ships now, I think we should be fine to uh, continue out. And uh, there goes the enemy Shikaku. Very, very nice. Akuruzov managed to finish him off. And uh, now we can uh, focus on this Musashi. We are spotted, but he's focusing on other targets, luckily. So we don't have to worry about that too much. And uh, we nearly killed him there. Cleveland got him with a Puma fire, and uh, now it's just the crunch start, and I believe the Bayard that's left. So uh, yes, now we switch to AP for the Bayard because we he's within our firing range, and hopefully we'll be able to catch a glimpse of him, and uh, hopefully we can uh, smash him to pieces. Let's see. Oh, we, we, it looks like we're gonna win on points before we can even do anything else. 995, and that should be a thousand points pretty soon here. Right there. Yeah, guys, so this was a, just a quick match in the crunch start just to show you guys what the, the ship is all about. And uh, yes, I would say it's a cruiser, uh, not a battleship, but uh, you got to play it like a play it like a battleship almost. Uh, don't be bowing the whole time, though. Otherwise, you will get punished severely. And uh, yes. Yeah, she plays like a heavy cruiser like you would play uh, an Alaska or a Stalingrad or something. Play it similar to that and you should be fine. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did... Please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.